And now the Heart with Heart Fashion Show returns for its 46th year this Saturday. 46 years, what a success. This fashion show hosted by St. Madeline Sophie Center, nonprofit group that serves individuals with intellectual developmental disabilities. So important for our community. Here to tell us all about the show coming up and show off some of these looks, we have the fashion show producer, Christy Brooks Pennington. Great to have you. Thank you. And then the CEO of St. Madeline Sophie, Sophie Center, Deborah Emerson. Hi, Deborah. Thank, thanks for having me today. Of course. Let's talk about this event. Um, I had the opportunity to be there. I, was it last year? I can't even keep my years straight, but it's beautiful. You go all out and put on quite a show. So tell us about this um, one. St. Madeline Sophie Center serves intellectual and developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, people from 22 to 85. Wow. Uh, we have different programs based on their needs and goals. Uh, we find them jobs, we teach them skills. Amazing. We have a beautiful art program. That is where this artwork came from. Uh, Mark Remlin uh, did the piece of the Eiffel Tower and it wow. just seemed perfect with the Olympics out there. Uh, so it, it, it's on our back screen here if people can see it at home. Uh, but yeah, the Eiffel Tower, you have the sparkles there. And that's the theme, right? right. This year's theme? Tell yeah. us about that. Uh, this, well, I am sure Christy will touch on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, we're just excited about mm -hmm. the theme and all the fashion and everything going yeah. on at the Hilton Bay front, Beautiful. 10 to 2. And champagne flowing, French, you know, lunch, and just nice. excited about the whole thing. Paris inspired. I know the yes. Olympics are on the mind of all of us. Fashion, <laughs> of course, Paris is so known for that, yeah. of course. And this artwork, uh, tell us who put the artwork together. Uh, Mark Rimlin. Uh, he has done, he's been at the center since he's about 11 years wow. old. Oh. And so we're really excited to share his art this right. year. Oh, I bet that's so exciting for yes. him, too, to get yes, to see that on full display. Uh, okay, talk to us about the fashion. You get the Paris theme. That's it's so fun. There's a lot you can do with the Parisian yeah. fashion theme. Um, so we will have some student ambassadors strutting their stuff on nice. the runway. Um, we'll also have a secondary show with local retailers like Bloomingdale's Fashion Valley, okay. um, who's been a huge supporter for several years. And then some local couture designers kind nice. of touching on the theme. Wow, we have yeah. Francis Taylor and Basa Couture. So a okay. ton of beautiful things to look at on the runway. And we have our models here. So let's talk about uh, the models, what they're wearing. Okay, so we have looks here from Bloomingdale's Fashion Valley. And the French are known for their, like, effortlessly chic aesthetic. Yeah. It's like they just woke up so cool and didn't even try. <laughs> so that is what we're going for. So why don't we start with Ryder. He's in a look by Sandra, which is a Parisian line found exclusively at Bloomingdale's. Um, I love this shirt. It's like this very cool boxy cut, but then that really beautiful elevated print. So it's like, I just threw this on and happened to look so right. great. Um, and then we paired it with black dress pants because the French love taking kind of the dressy look, but making it a little bit more cool and chic. Okay, because you can wear this day or night. You can, yeah. yeah. And then I, the white sneaker is like, everyone wears white sneakers with everything look. all day long. Yep. Love it. And it comfort, comfort yeah, is thank key as yeah. well. Uh, yeah, the guys have a little Lucky look here them, in that huh? sense, right? <laughs> Okay, and what about our lady here? Okay, so <laughs> Haley's in a look by Bash, um, also from Bloomingdale's. Now, the designers of Bash were really inspired by... Um, the French women walking down the street, but they wanted to make it a little bit more accessible for the okay. everyday woman. Mm -hmm. So you'll see it's like this nod to high fashion, but it's actually like super so wearable. Yeah. Um, so we do that big, um, big sleeve blouse, which is actually super lightweight, so it's great to wear in these warmer months. The long pleated skirt, the super cool belt, and then the vest on top. Now, a lot of stylists will say, look in the mirror before you leave and take one thing off. I say oh. put two or three more on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so the blouse and skirt are very beautiful on its own, but you put that vest on yeah. top, and it's like another cool Parisian chic layer. It looks yeah, great. It looks I mean, wonderful. that looks very elaborate, but you make it sound so simple. It's, yeah, it's all in the styling. That's yeah, the trick. Yeah, they all in the styling. That's what you're, you're specializing. <laughs> um, and I like that it's weather conscious, because we know it's been hot lately. Yes. These yeah. are actually lighter material, which Breathable, is lovely. Breathable, lightweight, and cool. Yeah, very very nice. So the fashion show, I mean, you're going to have all these models strutting their stuff on the runway. And I mean, we don't want to forget, obviously, this is such a good cause. Yes, uh, How is. important is this event to your uh, organization? This is a major event for yeah. us. Uh, we shortfall on our budget from the state. Okay. So we need to raise a good amount of money there. Okay. And then our students also get to model. So yeah. they're very excited oh. about participating at that level. Amazing. This Saturday at the Hilton Bayfront, yes. if you can at home, get those tickets and go to this to support St. Madeline Sophie Center. Thank you all for being with us today and we'll be right back after this break. Thank you.